Hey guys, what's going on? BB Express 2 coming at you with a recap video from this past Friday night's case break. Uh, little BB in the background who slept through the whole break. Um, it was a blast, guys. It was fun doing the draft. There wasn't as much trading in the draft order this week as there has in past weeks, but uh, I thought everybody did very well drafting. Um, and teams kind of went where I thought they would go. A couple teams, I guess, slid down a little farther than I thought. But overall, it was a blast, guys. Um, 26 of the 32 teams got hits in the break. Um, to be quite honest, I'm looking here, and the spread was pretty good. Um, a lot of teams obviously only got one hit, but overall, the spread was pretty good in the break. Um, not the same case that we had last week. But overall, I thought it was a pretty decent case. I think last week we kind of got spoiled. Um, hoping next week's case is as good as at least this week's or better. So let's keep our fingers crossed there. So in no apparent order, we got the Bears. The Bears got one hit in the break. It was a Jim McMahon single color jersey to 199. The Raiders got one hit in the break. Single color jersey of Darren McFadden to 199. The um, the Packers got two hits in the break. They got a Brian Bulaga auto to 199, and they got a Henry Jordan single color jersey to 199. So that was the Packers. The Jets got two hits in the break. <clears throat> Excuse me. They got this uh, patch, I guess we're going to call it. Maybe it's part of a shoe. Initial steps of Joe McKnight to 80. And they got a very chalky <laughs> jersey of Joe McKnight numbered to 100. So that was the Jets. The Bucks got one hit in the break. Pretty decent one, I thought, for the Bucks. Initial steps, card number 13, Mike Williams. So that's pretty sweet. The Texans got one hit, and uh, I like the hit. I think it's pretty sweet. Very, very sick patch of Andre Johnson, part of the Texans on the front of the jersey, and that is number 250. So if you're going to get one hit with the Texans, it's not a bad one to get. The Giants got one hit in the break, a single-color jersey of Eli Manning to 199. The Bills. The Bills did all right in terms of volume of hits, just not the quality. They got four hits in the break. They got a single color jersey of Andre Reed to 199. They got a single color jersey of Doug Flutie Flakes to 199. They got a jumbo jersey of Marcus Easley to 100. And last but not least, they won this quad in random of Eric Berry, Joe Hayden, C.J. Spiller, and Russell Okong. And that is numbered to 100. Pretty cool looking card there. So the Bills ended up with four hits in the break. The Titans slash Oilers got one hit in the break. That's a single color jersey of Earl Campbell to 199. The Chargers got one hit in the break. A very, very sick patch of Darren Sproles, and that's numbered to 50. But you can see, very, very used patch there of Darren Sproles. Nice card there for the Chargers. The Saints got one hit in the break. It was a moniker silver signature of Patrick Robinson. The Vikings got one hit in the break, and that was a single color jersey of Adrian Peterson to 199. The Falcons got two hits in the break. They were one of our out teams, but there was somebody shut out in the break, and the room gave the hits to that person. We got a Dominique Franks, who haunts me in every break, numbered to 199, and a single color jersey to 199 of Roddy White. So that'll go to the team that was hitless. Um, the Colts had one hit on the night. Single color jersey of Peyton Manning. No ink this time. 
The Bengals had three hits on the night. They had a Jermaine Gresham initial steps jersey to 99. They had a pretty cool jumbo die cut Jordan Shipley numbered to 50. And last but not least, they had a Ocho Cinco two-color patch numbered to 50. Nice looking patch there on Ocho. So the Bengals ended up with three hits. Not bad. The Seahawks. Seahawks had one hit in the break, and that was an Earl Thomas to 199 auto. The Broncos. Once again, no Tebow. Two cases, no Tebow. They got a Jumbo jersey of Demarius Thomas to 100. A Jumbo jersey of Eric Decker to 100. And a very nice Jumbo, or not Jumbo, but Patch, sorry, initial steps of Demarius Thomas. And that one's numbered to 25. So the Broncos, no Tebow, but they did get a few hits. The Steelers, one hit in the break, and that was a Jonathan Dwyer, initial steps, numbered to 80. And this is part of the shoe, trying to get a little bit of a focus here. And it doesn't look like it's going to focus. But it's a pretty sweet card, part of the shoe. And the Patriots had one hit in the break, and that was a Devin McCourty, Moniker Silver Signature. So... Those are the uh, teams that I thought did so-so. And we are moving on to my top six. A top six this week. Um, number six is the Eagles. The Eagles got a single color jersey to 199 of Deshaun Jackson. A Ricky Sapp auto to 25. 25 on Ricky Sapp. Focus. 25. They got a Nate Allen Monikers Silver Signature. A Riley Cooper Signature to 199. And last but not least, who are we missing for the Eagles? Oh, my Kafka. Very, these cards are really, really sick. So I know it's just Kafka, but it's still a sweet looking card. Very, very nice. And that is numbered to 199. So that was the Eagles with four hits in the break. <clears throat> Excuse me. Moving on to my number five team, the Redskins. Starting off with a Clinton Portis jersey to 199. That's right, I said the Redskins. And we have a Charlie Taylor. Very nice. Old patch there of Mr. Charlie Taylor, and that is numbered to 25. It's a nice little hit there for the Redskins. And last but not least, Mr. Donovan McNabb. I know he's kind of tapered down here at the end of his career, but still a very, very good quarterback. Very nice signature, and that's numbered to 25. So congrats to the Redskins. I think that was a little bit of a surprise uh, team, definitely, in the break. <clears throat> Next team is the Browns. Browns are my number four team. They got an initial steps, patch. I believe it's patch. Yeah, patch, one color, of Montario Hardesty, and that's number 25 out of 25. They got a pretty sick autograph of... Josh Cribs. Do not see a lot of this guy's autographs. Pretty sick. Josh Cribs. And that's numbered to 25. 23 out of 25. They got a Phenoms patch of Montario Hardesty. Very, very cool card again. That's numbered to 199. And last but not least, I know this card was hot at one time, don't know anymore, but Ernie Davis, number to 199 for the Browns. Very, very cool card. So that was the Browns, four hits in the break. Overall, I thought it did pretty well. The Cowboys are my number three team. Cowboys are my number three team, starting off with a jumbo jersey of Marion Barber the third. Go Gophers. Number to 25. 
They got a pretty sick uh, jumbo patch. You can see on the 28. Felix Jones. Very, very nice signature there for the Cowboys. And that is numbered 3 out of 10. A very, very nice card. And then last but not least, they got a DeMarcus Ware auto. Very, very nice card. Do not see a lot of his autos as well. And that's numbered to 50. So congrats to the Cowboys on three decent hits. Uh, number two team. It is the Rams. Marty Gilliard, Material Phenom Rookie. Auto. And their second hit was a good one. Sammy B. Sammy Bradford, Initial Steps Auto. So very, very nice card there for the Rams. And that is number two, if I can get it to focus, 99. So two hits, but they got the big one with the uh, Sammy B. And then last but not least, we have the Lions. The Lions had a very good break, in my opinion. Um, they had four hits, starting off with a Calvin Johnson jersey card, number two, 199. They had a Javid Best jumbo die cut, number 250. They had an Javid Best Phenoms, very, very sick patches there. And that's numbered to 199, back-to-back -back weeks, actually, on Javid Best. And then last but not least, Ndamukong Su, Material Phenom Rookie. So the Lions did very well, I thought. Um, again, you guys, it was a blast doing the draft, hanging out and busting it for everybody. Um, hope next week's case is uh, at least this good and maybe gets closer to what our first case was. I thank everybody again that hung out on Friday night. We had a blast. And I also do seriously appreciate everybody that joins the breaks. Um, with all you guys, little BB and I would have nothing. So thank you again, you guys. Take care and check out for the sign-up video that will be coming out soon here for the next case for next Friday night. Take care, guys. Peace.